Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about what is order of a permutation and what is transposition with example problems. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about what is inverse of a permutation, what is inverse of a cyclic permutation, what is disjoint cycles, how to find out the product of two disjoint cycles with example problems that can be discussed in the previous videos. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Divela Srinivas Rao. Okay, now we have to discuss about what is order of a permutation. So before going to the order of a permutation, first of all, we have to know the definition of what is the joint cycles. Okay, two cycles are said to be the joint cycles if they do not have any common element. Okay, for example, so this is one, this is one cycle, one image is two, two image is one. So this is one cycle. Next, this is another cycle, three image is four, four image is five, five image is six, six image is three. This is another cycle. Okay, so observe these two cycles, there is no common element between them. Okay, so hence we can say that these two cycles are said to be disjoint cycles. Once we are knowing the definition of disjoint cycles, come to one point. Every permutation can be expressed as a product of disjoint cycles. Okay, now this is sigma is, let sigma is one permutation, it contains this element. Okay, this permutation sigma can be expressed as a product of disjoint cycles. Okay, how we are finding out the product of disjoint cycles from this permutation? Okay, here one image is two, two image is one. Okay, so this is one cycle. One image is two, two image is one. So that this is one cycle. Next one. Three image is four, four image is five, five image is six, six image is three. That means three image is four, four image is five, five image is six, six image is three. Okay, so this is one cycle and this is one cycle. Okay, so there is no common element between them. Hence, we can say that these two cycles are disjoint cycles. So this is the product of two disjoint product of disjoint cycles. So this permutation sigma can be expressed as a product of disjoint cycles. So these two cycles are said to be disjoint cycles. They do not have any common element between them. Okay. So this is the important point. Every permutation can be expressed as product of the joint cycles. Okay. Next, we can go for order of a permutation. So let uh, S be a permutation. Then the order of a permutation S is denoted by permutation S is denoted by order of S. It can be defined as LCM of length of the joint cycles. Okay, order of a permutation is nothing but length of, okay, length of, LCM of length of the joint cycles. Okay, so here the permutation S yes is nothing but this permutation S yes can be represented as product of two disjoint cycles. Okay, so here 1 and 2 and 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, what is the length of this cycle? Length is nothing but number of elements. So two elements are there. So this is the length of the first disjoint cycle. Next, what is the length of this cycle? 
how many number of elements are there four elements are there okay lcm of length of the joint cycles therefore order of s is equal to lcm of 2 comma 4 is nothing but 4 okay so 2 4 so that means 2 once 2 2 so therefore lcm of 2 comma 4 is 4 order of a permutation is nothing but length lcm of length of the joint cycles so this is lcm of length of first disjoint cycle length of second disjoint cycle so lcm of 2 4 is nothing but 4 so order of this permutation order of this permutation s yes, is nothing but 4 whenever s contains these elements s contains 1 2 3 4 5 6 and next one 2 1 4 5 6 3 okay next one what is transposition okay transposition is nothing but a cycle of length 2 okay a cycle of length 2 can be simply called as transposition okay suppose this is one cycle so one image is 2 2 image is 1 so this is one cycle what is the length of this cycle so how many number of elements are there two elements are there so cycle length is equal to 2 so whenever a cycle contains two elements that means length of the cycle is 2 then that cycle is called as transposition so this cycle is called as transposition because length of the cycle is 2 next one consider this one so what is the uh, length of this cycle first a image is b b image is a okay so this is one cycle this cycle length is equal to 2 because only it contains two elements so this is also called as a transposition so whenever a cycle contains only two elements then it can be called as transposition okay so these two cycles can be obtained from the permutation sigma so here one image is 2 2 image is 1. So, this is 1 cycle. 1 image is 2. 2 image is 1. Next one. A image is B. B image is A. A image is B. B image is A. So, this is 1 cycle. So, in this cycle, 2 elements are there. Cycle length is equal to 2. In this cycle, 2 elements are there. Cycle length is equal to 2. Whenever a cycle contains two elements, that is length of the cycle is 2, then it can be called as a transposition. Okay, so this is the description about the uh, order of a permutation and transposition. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. Please like this video, please comment this video and please subscribe my channel name, so develop Srinivasarao.